So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 17. Uh, we're officially back with Mars League for the week. It was uh, my birthday over the weekend. So yeah, I just went out for some steak and uh, enjoyed myself. So unfortunately didn't have time to get any videos done, but we are back. It's episode 17. Hope you guys are enduring, enduring, that's a new one, enjoying uh, the European Championships going on right now. Even though it says 2020, I remember in 2021, but either way, yeah, Italy have started off well, England got a win against Croatia, so for the most part, you know, things have started off very nicely. Uh, let me know who you want to win, not who you think's going to win, who do you want to win the Euros? Alright, so today's the big one because the transfers have officially opened. We're, we're taking on a Levante, apparently, back to back here, so we've got Levante and La Liga, then we're taking them on the Copa del Rey. Interesting. Um, so, and both of them away from home. It's not great. Now, we are going to do this, folks. We are going to crank it down for the time being. I, I really don't want to have to use a mod because it just, for me, feels a little bit less responsive. So, we're going to put it down to Superstar. We're still going to, you know, play 18-minute matches, but I want to play on Superstar for now and see how we get on. I'm not expecting to just suddenly start winning every game. That, that's not going to happen. It's still going to be a challenge. But Legend, you know, you saw the last episode, folks. I just, I couldn't deal with it. As simple as that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try Superstar, give it a bash, and we'll, we'll go from there. You know, at the end of the day, you've got to try and enjoy the game. Because if you don't, where's the fun in it? I know you guys like seeing me complain, and I, and I will complain anyway. Uh, but I still want to try and enjoy it. Right, so let's have a look at, at the players. They've come back with a few players here, some left backs, actually. Uh, Tete from Fulham. All right, interesting, but we're not going to worry about that. Right, now there is one player. There's one player that I'm going to go ahead right now and make a bid for. Uh, I asked you guys about him, and, and honestly, a lot of people said, yeah, why not go for him? Because he's massive, he's tall. And at the end of the day, we like to play down the flanks, whip the balls in, and having a player like this, even if he's playing with Luigi up top, win those headers. Let him run on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to put a bid in for Anachu here. Anuchu, Anachu. And, uh, yeah, go for it. So, they're saying we could just pay out his release fee, and I think we'll probably go ahead and do that. We're, we're only going to have one player to buy right now, uh, unless we sell someone. But there is the option, of course, of poor two being sold uh, if someone comes in for the bid uh when it comes to the salary i'm not going to get carried away i think 32,000 a week's fine three years uh we can't really give him anything too much because otherwise we like to give him a good old rub up the wrong way i don't know why on earth they use that phrasing uh, it looks like you might have rubbed him up the wrong way mm, well we don't want to do that now uh so we'll leave it okay so let's go ahead and just whack that bid in for an extra few million we honestly might as well just pay his release fee so if we go to our team and see what's going on right now right well we have an offer for luigi blimey his values decreased he was a lot more than that before but we're definitely not going to accept those and uh, we're going to put luigi on the do not call list uh we've got william jose now i don't think we can get this guy back but he's an option once he does come back into the mix I mean, he's not very fast at all. Call blimey, he's slow as anything. But he's a very physical player. So, how old is he? 29. All right, so he's getting on a little bit. Uh, we've got an offer for this guy. It's a loan offer. We'll go ahead and accept that. Because, you know, what's the point of it, really? Uh, we've got to make sure that Poor 2 is on the transfer list. There he is. I'm not going to do reasonable offers because it does kind of mute the amount of offers you're going to get. Um, Yanazai is injured. This guy... I mean, is he going to do the business for me? You know what? I'm going to put these players on there just to see. He's on loan. He's on loan. Just to see what we get back. Like, especially Fernandez not doing a whole lot for me up top. Izek, I'm still going to put him on there. Doesn't mean I'm going to sell them, folks. Don't worry. We're just going to put them on to see if we get any business coming in. You know, and Pez isn't that deep that if you put them on the transfer window, it annoys them. They don't really care. Uh, we've got Lermendi there. Supermendi's fine. Uh, I think for the most part, the midfielders we'd leave alone. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got a transfer for this guy. Sure, why not? Go ahead and accept that. No need to have him around anymore. Uh, we do have an offer. <laughs> Arsenal coming in for Monreal. But I don't know if I want to sell Monreal just because we don't have a ton of cover on the flanks. 
I mean, we have a few players here like Tavares, Munoz, Rodriguez, but he's on loan. Uh, we'll leave that for now. We have got a bid for Moya for absolute peanuts. And we have a... Yeah, this guy can definitely accept that one. All right. So there we go. We've done a bit of business for now. That'll do. Uh, let's go ahead and forward the tag. All right. Mid-season review. Mm. Uh, it was always going to be an uphill struggle. Uh, now let's pull ourselves together and pull your finger out. It's not good enough, Luigi. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but realistically speaking, that's our best hope for the season. I think they were saying we got, a, what, above ninth now? But don't change the goals. We're still going for Champions League football here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shy away from that approach. Uh, all right, youth players. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. The youth system in this game is so terrible. Uh, if, they, if they actually came out with something more, more refined, uh, it might be more exciting. Right, signing negotiations, chapter one. Negotiations with the Nacho are moving along nicely, but I think we can push him to agree terms that are a little more favourable to us. Um, look, there's two Luigi's. His twin brothers arrived, folks. <laughs> he does have a twin that you guys do not know about, and now you've seen him. <laughs> okay, so let's go to negotiations and have a look at what they're saying. Uh, the that looks fine to me. I'm not even going to accept it. They're going to get annoyed, as they always do, with the cutscenes that we're not made of money. Yeah, well, I don't think a few pennies is going to solve anything. So there we go. We're down to only 1.9 million, uh, but we'll see. We'll see if there anyone else comes in. Uh, for any type of bids. All right, so we're going to dive into the next match. Uh, so, yeah, there's a look at Levante and the big question of what formation do we play. So let me pick a lineup depending on the form. Oh, God, Luigi, Luigi's down. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I think we can just go for a 4-3-3. You know, we're on Superstar today. So we, we've dropped down a difficulty. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, but look at the bat line. Everyone's buzzing today. I'm actually going to start uh, Munoz on the left-hand side. He's on blue. Why not? How old is he? He's 24. All right, it's not too bad. Uh, Thibaldi in the middle with Sanya today. We'll give Diop a bit of a rest. Ilar Mendy there with uh, Marino and David Silva. Porto will start. Uh, Izek and then Ayazabal. Uh, and when we get the big man, well, things are going to change. We may go back. We may go 4-4-2. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do. That'll do. There's a look at Levante playing just a standard 4-4-2. Where are they lying in the table right now? Does not like they're in the top half of the table. No, they're bottom. All right. Well, they've had a bit of a nightmare. Three wins, two draws, 14 defeats. I mean, we've already lost six matches, but 14 games, man, that is... Uh, that's a lot of defeats. So, yeah, there it is. Superstar, officially, all right? You let me know how this plays out. I mean, I'll let you know how it feels. So, <laughs> we'll see if we can beat the goalies. The goalies should be a little bit more beatable on Superstar, but still going to be, you know, a bit of a chore. Anyway, uh, we will give ourselves uh, the black kit for this one. We'll give them the home kit. Lovely jubbly. All right, I will see you guys there. Let's dive into it. So here we are. The Estadio Cudet de Valencia. Is that how you say it? I hope so. Blimey, the lights are flashing away. You're going crazy inside the tunnel there. Bit of an epilepsy warning for you. But yeah, this is going to be a back-to-back -back affair. We take them on today uh, and then a week later... The Copa del Rey. Lovely music. All right, I think that's enough of that because uh, you never know if you're going to get a copyright strike or not. As uh, the referee blows, and away we go. So, yeah, I'm interested to see how this feels today. You know, after that last episode with Legend just kicking me right up the backside. How is today going to fare? And look, like, folks, once we play on Superstar, if we start winning far too easy, then we know what we need to do. But, you know, the first season's always going to be a bit of a chore. Uh, as uh, Tono has a chance here. A good challenge by Garasabal, and uh, we'll bring this one forward. Now, I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played in a few days. I had far too much cake last night. So, hopefully, that won't uh, come into account. As uh, Marino, where you going, Marino? Yep, that was a weird one. Just stopped moving for some reason. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! But luckily, Tabeldia came back quickly. Was well, he could have considered? Oh, here we go. They're still doing it. They're still doing it. Unbelievable, isn't it? Long Ranger and. <laughs> All right, it was an early warning sign, wasn't it? Levante have not uh, come to play. Well, they have come to play, but they've come to play very, very hard. There's a volley from uh, Long Range out. Oh, David Silva's not the tallest player, but somehow he wins the header. And poor two ref, elbow to the face. Thank you very much. That's a guaranteed yellow card. Always a yellow when you elbow someone in the schnoz. 
And here he comes. Right across the face. Bang. Brutal. Flicking out wide. Lay that one inside there to David Silva. Izek. Start again. Flick that one on to uh, Munoz. No. 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 Far too slow, mate. Got to pick up. Frutos. Okay, we have a, a really big problem right now. But Levante getting so many players forwards. Are we sure we're playing on Superstar here? Oh, blimey. I'm a little bit all over the shop, aren't we? And, and we really need to wake up here. Lovely play to cut inside. And to be honest, I'm surprised he hasn't scored. All right, let's find uh, Munoz here. All right, let's just go attacking. We might as well. We might as well. I was going to play wing rotation, but I've, I've decided against it because... You know, we're 10 minutes in here. We can't even get the ball back, so that's that's not a great start. All right, got us the ball. Let's, uh, let's work this round, lads. Take your time. Start again. Let's feed that one inside. Here are Marino. No, he says I'm going the other way. Lovely quick feet there. Munoz. Oh, look at the run here from Isaac. It's a chance! And there's the goal, and that's the difference actually can beat the goalies and Izek bangs in the goal after 12 minutes and it was a little bit of patience wasn't it, a bit of patience there's a new word for you just to look at Marino here, that beautiful play just opened up a couple of yards of space the run from Izek's perfect and the finish, wow it's not bad either is it and flick it on Frutos and his body and it's fine, Tono Hold him up. No, don't let him get inside. Just stay with him. Bardi once more. He's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. No, he's done well. Hold off David Silva there. Miller and Mendy's not having any of it. Does find poor two, who's ran off because I uh, pressed the wrong button. Campana plays it through the middle. And we don't want to let him strike it there, lads. And that's a brilliant challenge. It's, he's given a penalty there, and it, it's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he's won the ball. We'll have another look at it. I think VAR should be uh, intervening on this one. Let's have a look. Comes across. No, wins the ball. But because his arm touches him, it's a penalty. Ridiculous. Being mugged right off there. Now, well, let's have another look at it uh, in slow-mo. So there it is. The ball came into him. There's the touch. As you can see, he wins the ball. I mean, his leg goes through his leg, you know. I mean, that's just the physics, isn't it? The collision system of this game's a joke. Wins the ball there, 100%. Uh, but because his arm, you know, he gives him a hug at the same time. Pathetic decision. Just the collisions on this game. Still broken. All right, well, it's a chance for uh, Morales. Which way are you going, son? You're going that way. Yeah, I actually thought I was going to dive that way, but never mind. And there we go, 1-1. One, one. <sighs> All right, well, if you're going to give him a little bit of an advantage, referee, then I'll let you have it. It's very dark in the uh, in the crowd and the atmosphere. Yeah, another look at it for the 50th time. I don't know where the foul is. Arms flailing. That's caused the issue. And uh, a convincing penalty. So, 1-1. One, one. Just try and keep possession. Still plenty of time. But we have to win today, folks. We've not won, apparently, in three matches. It's been uh, really bad and poor for our standards. That's, that's good play by Levante here. And we could get caught as the ball's fired towards the back post. <sighs> what a save that is. Oh, blimey, lads. Let's 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 try and wake up. I mean, we may even go a 4-4-2 diamond. It might suit us better, to be honest. We'll see. All right, we've changed it up. We are going to go diamond. We're going to go back to the old diamond. We're going to play attacking fullbacks, which is going to get the likes of Grathable and uh, Co forward a little bit more. He's uh, got a chance here. Oh, Porter 2 is going to push up top uh, with his Ek for the time being. So, yeah, we'll see. That's a good challenge, Marino. Well done. Lay that one back. All right, Munoz. Some time here. Might as well keep going then. Oh, Marino might even get there. And he is because the AI have ran off the wrong way. Lays it across. And Porter 2 completely missed it. God, blimey. What a terrible finish that was. Just don't hit the goalie, and it's a goal. He has a bow, penalty! Well, that's more of a penalty than the other one that was given. <sighs> Unbelievable. But yeah, poor two should have scored. Uh, and now Munoz over the top. Is that what you're doing? Why are you trying to control that for? Just, just let the ball run through, mate, and you're through on goal. I, I, I can't fathom it out. What a plonker. Well, there's your chance he's gone begging. 
And this is where we miss Luigi today. But not 100%. All right, Iazabal, I need to get him involved. And that's mainly why I've put him in the middle, because Iazabal is a very good player, but if he's not getting the ball in the middle, he doesn't generally do a whole lot. All right, Izek towards Mar Marino. All right, what kind of movement do we want, lads? Well, Mourinho's going to do this himself. Does uh, some sort of a step over. Nice little move. Flicks it off to Munez. Now we'll look to fire this one high. Or two's not there. Well, we're having a bash from a long, long range. Yeah, missed it. Yolo Mendy. Right, suddenly the, the game has changed. The momentum shift. The Yazabao. Hold him up. There you go. Flick that inside. Ilora Mendy. Give it back to y uh, Yazabala. And it was straight at Severa. Well, that's more like it. That is more like it. I mean, we are going to tire out the fullbacks. David Silva's already knackered, as you can see, but he's getting on now, isn't he? Hasn't quite got that stamina going as uh, he used to have. Although he's never been the most mobile player. He's just, you know, a very good creative player. Oh, that's a nice play here. And now Sanya's run off and he's done very well to get a toe in. Here is David Silva, put a two. Give it to, uh, who's that to? Who on earth, on earth is that? I really hope someone comes in for a bid for poor two because I will sell him, folks. Yeah, he scored some nice goals for us. In fact, he's probably scored the best goals of all the players, but his goal to performance ratio is not worthy to keep him. Ref, are you having a laugh today? What? No, I'm looking at my water bowl. Huh? How on earth is this, let alone a foul? Let's have a look. I don't get it. He won the ball and he's given the yellow for it. Mind-boggling. Absolutely mind-boggling. Anyway, a chance for Levante. Delivered in. Oh, no, no, no. He comes back towards the edge of the box. I'm more concerned now about giving another penalty away. What he has about. Get a foot in there. Marino, stick a foot in yourself. Ball over the top. David Silva nods it clear. Is that with a delicate little touch? All right, we have actually got a chance here. Now, there we go. That's the ball. Right, Porto, use the legs. Brilliant play. Keeper's coming out. And every time I slag off Porto, he goes and scores. <laughs> oh, man, I, I don't know what to do with him. What do you think? Do we sell Porto? Do we keep him? I mean, ultimately, it's how much money do we get. But to be fair, he's done well. We used the pace. And this is a really cute little, uh, a little would you? I mean, he literally just scoops this. Like the old Tostitos scoops. You know, the old chips, the old crisps. Look at this. Bang. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? He just got his head up. And he went. Flicks it over, Severa. Job done. All right. Let's move on into the second half. All right, so welcome back for the second half here. I've taken off uh, David Silva. We've put on uh, Thibamendi in the middle just because David Silva, I want to rest him. He's not on form today, and we already have a Yazabao, which is going to keep our team spirit up. So, yeah, we might as well. And Thibamendi's a little bit more of a, you know, a worker uh, compared to David Silva. But anyway, we have the lead, uh, and that's all that matters. So we'll try and keep playing the way we were at the uh, end of the half. That's a terrible pass, isn't it? That's an absolute shocker. Does happen. He has about. Swings it round to Munoz. Moves it back inside to him. Yeah, I was going to try the double touch, but that backfired. Let's not get too carried away. Laura Mendy. He has about. Izek. Good up, hold up play. Izek. Lovely feet by Izek. Oh, he nearly got it. Great play by the big man, who is a little bit more useful now on Superstar. And that's the thing. And as I say, Legend is... Generally, your stats get nerfed, and obviously the AI get the old stat boost. So when you play on Superstar now, I am going to get... I'm going to definitely feel like I have better control of me players. Nope. Oh, I was going to say, is that going to work? Just about. Flicks that one on. Well, Yazabal's got space here. Feeds it across. Oh, that should have been to Marino. Bug it off. But he's still vulnerable on the break, you know. Still very vulnerable. Well done, Sanya. It's quality. Finding Munoz. Side to uh, Ayazaba. His ex got some time, and he's going to find him now. How's the finish? Goalie is coming out. Oh. 
course, if you guys were watching the Euros, you would have seen what happened to Christian Eriksen. I mean, core cool, blimey. I think we were all heart in mouth situation when that happened. Man, I was, you know, this was, like I said, my birthday was on Saturday, and this happened on my birthday. And just sitting there in, in disbelief at, uh, you know, at what we were seeing on the field. And thankfully, thankfully, you know, he managed to, to recover. Uh, it wasn't right, though, was it, that they continued the match with Denmark and Finland? Because the Danish players, uh, you know, and the Finland players, granted, but more the Danish players were, were definitely not prepared to go back and play a match. Uh, and I thought it was just ridiculous. You know, have a day off, for Christ's sake, and say, all right, wait a minute, the goalie's out here, and there's a long range. Ah! But, yeah, sad to see, but fortunately, as I say, uh, Christian Eriksen is recovering. Um... But yeah, insane, insane. Make sure you take care of yourself, folks, because anything can happen, even to, you know, professional world-class footballers that are very, very fit. Anything can happen. But I'll tell you what, it's a big praise uh, and a huge, massive thanks, obviously, to the medical staff that were, were there straight on the scene uh, and literally completely saved the guy's life. Anyway, we are 70 minutes in. Uh, the second half's been a little bit... A little bit less action-packed than the first half. We've certainly died it down a little bit, and Levante likewise. It's going to be a chance here. No, couldn't quite get there. Here is Postigo. Oh, that's a shocker. Given away to Porto. Yay, come on, lads. These are chances that we're wasting here. We should be winning this four goals to one, and, and the game should be done. It's a shocking pass there. You don't play a pass like that when you're not facing the right way. Of course, leave, keep leaving your suggestions uh, about players to pick up. I don't know how many players I'm going to buy. Uh, well, right now we can't buy anyone else because uh, we only have a million left in the bank. But if some big transfers come in and maybe they want to buy a few players, then, of course, you know we can make a couple more changes and, and do what we need to do. Uh, we've got a chance here to fire this back post. Well, oh, Zek still can't win a header even on Superstar. So, yeah, that hasn't changed the fact that he is useless in the air. Morales. I actually think Luigi's better than him. Luigi's smaller. Of course, height doesn't mean you're going to be good in the air, but still. Anyway, here's a chance. Zabavendi. I can't shoot. I can he shoot? All right, two final changes. We'll bring on Baron for Porto and Vaisa for Grossobo. Here's Marti. Morales. Stay with the runner. And well done, Sanya. Still debatable with the penalty. I mean, I don't think it was debatable. I don't think it was a penalty. Do you guys think that was a pen? Anyway, Morales, don't let him turn. Don't let him shoot. Uh, he did let him shoot. And luckily, Romero was awake and the ball was straight at him. There's a vice up. Nope, 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 nope. Let's just start that again with the goalie. Swing it round to, uh, to Valdia. Ten minutes to spare. Can we finally get a win? I would hope so. That's a late one referee. And no doubt a yellow card. Ridiculous. So you're not going to give him a yellow for that. But the one in the first half where I won the ball, you're going to give me a yellow. About as inconsistent as you like. There's space in the middle here for Ayazabout. He'll flick that one off to Izek. We'll get forward then, lads. No, nope, you don't want to get forward. Marino. Says to Munoz, I know you're done, mate, but uh, you can certainly keep going for a couple of minutes. Back to Marino. It's a lovely pass. Barron's up. Should have got there first. Cleared away half-heartedly. Here's Bardi. Ruben Vezo to Postigo. How much stoppage time have we got here? Just a minute to play. Right, don't take any gambles then. Just get it away. Lovely. That'll do nicely. Is that get forward? He has about finding it. Munoz space here for uh, Barron little step over didn't work out oh it's come back towards him reverse pass Izek oh has he missed that there you go Izek scores two goals oh well we left it late to grab uh, a second one or a third one uh, but there we have it so three goals to one away from home we're finally back to winning, folks. Yes, we had to dumb down to Superstar, but I generally feel like this match, I am having more of a chance against a poor side. They are a poor side. They haven't played well this season, and you can see some of the passings, comedy gold, and yeah, Izek missed the first, but he wasn't going to miss from there. And that will be, surely, a full-time whistle. There it is. The referee blows. Three goals to one. 
will do. Uh, but we're going to face them again in a week's time uh, in the Copa del Rey. Isaac will be your man of the match. Good to see him scoring some goals, though, because, you know, he needs to get on the score sheet. Six attempts to 13 uh, is your stats. They had a lot of passes. Uh, man of the match, there it is. Isaac, job done. So the other results, Barcelona winning four goals to two. Uh, Alaves lost to Sevilla. Ibar winning. Uh, Ibar, Ibar, Ubar, whatever you guys want to call them. It's some sort of a bar. Uh, Getafe winning by goal to nil. Valencia won 3-1. Real Madrid did win. Celta de Vigo drew. Granada won 1-0. And Atletico Madrid smashing Athletic Club. So we remain ninth place. We haven't moved anywhere. I mean, we're seven points off fourth, so it's doable. 16 points behind Barcelona in third. Mm, that is a mountain to climb. But Atletico Madrid are the only undefeated side right now. Top of the table by four points. Bottom of the table, Levante, Celta de Vigo and Huesca. So let's push forward. Probably going to have uh, no negotiations. Well, no one's come in for any bids for any of our players. That's not very nice. But yeah, we're going to get ready now to push into the Copa del Rey. There's the usual, oh, I know our pottons are blah, blah, blah. Stupid cutscene. Doesn't even make sense to me. You know, I offered them a fee. They said yes. We bought the player. What's the problem? All right, folks. So this is the lineup, and I'm looking forward to this um, just to see how Luigi and Co. Uh, do up top. So we're going to go a 4-4-2, diamond formation, attacking fullback, Savisa with a pinpoint crossing, and Tavares with the pinpoint crossing trait. Should make this fantastic. We'll see. The plan is to get the ball down the wings and look for the big man. Uh, if not, just pump it towards him. See if he can win the headers. Uh, and go from there, really. So, yeah, there's the lineups. Levante, same as the last game. 4-4-2. They're not really changing it. Uh, it seems a bit weird playing them straight again after the last match. But, you know, there we go. So we know how they're going to play. Anyway, I will see you there. I guess we're going to use the same kits that we used in the first match. In fact, we might even change the socks this time. And we'll go, we'll go all black this time instead of the orange socks. All right, I will see you guys there. And hopefully, yeah, we don't get knocked out because that would be a bit of an upset. So here we are. Back again for the Copa del Rey. I don't even know what round we're in. Uh, but Thomas Muller is the referee for today. And yeah, uh, I knew, how is the Nietzsche going to be? Uh, that's the big question. I mean, a guy this tall, 6'7", remember. If you haven't seen him in real life, he's, he's a pretty good player in Belgium League. He's scored about 33 goals in 38 matches. So it will be intriguing to see how he does fare today with his new squad picked him up for a round there he is there he is picked him up for what round 13 million and away we go for this one Luigi's back he'll be buzzing to get on the score sheet I mean Isaac had a decent game the last match but you know he's, he's, he's not even up for, on form wise so uh, can't play him now last time we took Levante on they were very good to start with, uh, and then they got a little bit poor. So today we've got to make sure we don't give it away. Right, I'm going to do this just to see what happens here. All right, well, here is the big man. He's trying to get through already. And All right, let's see what he can do. There's the uh, the comparison. Well, he's missed that one, but we've got to give him a few matches to warm up. I'm not expecting magical things from him in the opening few games. Just be better in the air than his Ek was. You know, that's all I'm asking. You're not asking for miracles. Long ball over the top while Tavares has come right off his bum. Played through the middle. A little deflection. Oh, it's fallen back towards Levante. And it's a good save by Marino. Chance for Bardi. It's going to be an outswinger. Cleared away by the keeper. Go on, Luigi. Campana. And that should be comfortable all day for the goalie. Marino looking for Anucci. There he is, does win it. And he's looking for him again, the big man, go on, oh, what footed is he, I forgot to look, I think he's right footed. So we've got to make sure we uh, we find that foot, well which way have you given that ref, you're going to give a foul on David Silva. He's minute mate. I, I, I don't see the problem, I, I don't see the problem, I swear the fouls on this game have actually got worse. So Campana to take the free kick with 16 minutes in here and we really haven't created anything yet. Nice little touch there, Marino. Oh, he says to Luigi, get on your bike, is he onside? Well, the Lino's kept the flag down for now. And he's got the big man lurking and waiting, and there he is! Oh, come on, mate, get up a little bit better than that. 
God, 6 7. Should be winning the headers all day. David Silva. Weiser. Gonna take him on. Well, we know what he's gonna do. Another chance to deliver it, but instead we're looking for Yazabal. Comes back to Marino. He's run straight past it. That's not good news. And inside, and uh, now we've got problems. Mavice has got some speed. Oh, no, no, no. Do you, you need to come across quickly, mate. Wow. What a finish. Oh, blimey. Well, that is a goal. I would give him credit for that one. That was a, that was a dipping shot, and... Uh, that, that is a brilliant goal. I mean, you talk about a counter from back to front. See, even on Superstar, they still have the ability to do this. And that is just unbelievable finish. If I score one like that, I'd be, uh, I'd be off my seat. But yeah, we got caught. Push too many players forward. Here's a good view for you. Right behind the goalie. Have a look at this. Bang. Whoa, that's a sublime goal. I'll give you that one, lads. I will give you that one. Blime, that's a lot of tats. Let's not get caught again, lads. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. We're getting very, very... Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, lads. We're, we're, we're all over the place here, aren't we? A little bit. Credit to Levante for disrupting the flow. Tavares. All right, Marino, you can keep going if you want. All right, Tavares is there. Right. Chance now. How's the ball in? There it is! And there he is! Hey! That's what we signed him up for. It's as simple as that. He looks about five foot six from the uh, the replays. Apparently, he's smaller than Tavares. Konami fixed it. Poor blind, it's embarrassing. Why is there people's heads through the stadium? But beautiful ball in, and the, the marking from Levante was suspect. I mean, there was no marking, but he towered above everyone because there's no one on him. Uh, it's a free header. But as I said, I don't want to buy a ton of players. Maybe if we buy one more this transfer window, it's enough for me. We don't need to get carried away. Trying to buy a bunch of players. Well done, Marino. Absolute class. Look at him. Absolute beast, but then he lost it, so that wasn't beastly at all. Here is Marty. Brutos. Now steal it. Madamon needs to deliver it. Took too long. Hoofs it clear. Looking for the Italian. Flicked on by the big man. It's a lovely little touch. Weiser. Going to do this himself because he has got the pace. Right. Who's in the box? Well, we know the big man's in the box. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But yeah, I need a little bit more elevation. I might have to use R1 every now and then when I'm crossing now, just to give more height to the ball. He has about feed it off. Lovely. This time. Oh, unlucky. I tried lobbing it for some reason. I don't know why. I should have just struck it normally, but I pressed L1. To be fair, it was going in. No one's tracking the runner, is he? Plowing through the middle. <laughs> the goalie did well, so there you go. Nice little bit of dirt on the old kits. That's what you'd expect on the PS5. All those little dirts. Robert swings it round. That's a good interception now. Now we've got a chance. Elder Mendy swings it round the other way. Flick that on. Oh, he didn't quite get there. Chance for Yazapau. Oh, the big, big man got in the way. He blocked the own shot. You've got to get out of the way of it, mate. One little touch there. Marino should get there. Does so. I love the ability you can have with certain players to hold off players. It's nice, you know, when they actually use their physical attributes to hold off a player. It's a nice little thing to, to have. Marty. Gets it out wide. Tono, final chance here for Levante. As Vice has lost it completely. And that. Oh, that's a let off. That is a let off. Anyway, it's half time. It's 1 1. And it's all to play for. So once again, the old epilepsy warning is going. We just need to steal it, and then we are in. Tono. Well, Levante haven't played bad. I mean, I think they've played better today than they did in the last match. Good header, Marino. Lovely play there. Feed that one through. Not quite the pass we wanted. Just looking for that quick break. Chance from a long range, and that's always heading wide. He has about. Well, they're not marking. They're not marking, and that's a problem, and Luigi! <sighs> Should have kept it down. His father's disappointed with him there. I mean, they're not even marking he has about all day to get this into the box, and got to keep it down, Luigi. Got to keep it down. Well, this match is it's as harder than it should be, it really is, to be honest. 
It should be. Uh, oh, oh, they've lost it. And the big man's in. And the big man's in. Oh, penalty ref. Surely no. What a save that is. David Silva. Well, he's given a foul, I think, to them. But, core, cool, blimey. This is unbelievable save. We've got to go back and look at this. I'll, I'll tell you what. The goalie's pulled off an absolute blinder there. Well, have a look at this. I, I, I should have lobbed it at this point. I cancelled the shot for some reason. But I should have lobbed the goalie. He made that save. And then you're thinking, David Silva, tap it in. Look at that for a save. That is absolutely in madness. He gets the palm out. I mean, there's a nice view of his backside there. That is um, that is um, unreal. Absolutely. There is a there's a thumbnail for you. <laughs> That's going in the old thumbnail. That's different class for the goalie. God. Get it away. Well done. All right, Marino. Are you going to get there first? I think you will get there first, mate. I think you will. You certainly will. All right. Now, who's on? Luigi says, give it up the line. Is that going to be too much? It's not. All right, well, we've got the big man. Let's fire it in towards him. Of course, we're finding Vaisa. Oh, the keeper's there again. Levante living on the edge. Was it living on a prayer? One or the other. But yeah, right now, Levante are all over the place. We've got a score. We have to score because at any time, it could change. David Silva. Luigi, nice little flick. Tavares, Luigi, David Silva, the big man, overlapping run. He has about, someone come near post, and there's a deflection. Back pass, ref. Right, who's on? Back inside, that'll do. Give it back to him, beautiful. Right, now we've got players in there. Once again, it's the big man, but we're looking for Luigi, apparently. They need to go near post more. Stop putting as much elevation on the ball. Tavares, there he is again! Oh, this keeper! What has he taken before this match? Saving everything. Even on superstar, folks, the goalies are nuts. Let's come back to David Silva, and that is woeful. Right, first two changes, David Silva off, Fernandez comes on, got us a ball on for Tavares. Tono, Kapana, Anuchu, keep going, mate. I mean, I'm probably, you know, it's going to take me a bit of time with Anuchu to, to kind of feel him out a little bit, because I, sh I should probably be playing the ball into his feet a lot of the time, giving him options like that. Uh-oh, don't let him sh turn and shoot. No, 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 get it out. Brilliant, well done, good play. The switch is on. And Luigi's on himself. Not it square. That's the pass. We're in. Go around the goalie. Hey, that will do. Woohoo! Luigi and Co. coming up trumps and the big man. Two goals on his debut. And uh, yeah, when it, when we, one on with the goalie there, I was like, no, no, no. We're not doing anything silly. We'll just go around the keeper. And we'll make sure that we actually do score. Because there's nothing worse. They, they need to fix these cutscenes. It, it cracks me up. The guy's 6'7", and he's smaller than Luigi, who's 5'10". Anyway, this is a wonderful header by Luigi. He wins that header, he's in. And it was all about, just take your time here. Just go around him. Goalie's all over the place. That'll do. Right, so we know now Levante will pretty much go gun-ho. You're going to see the centre-backs getting forward. We're actually going to go defensive now because I don't want to concede another one. But we have a very good chance here uh, of, of, of grabbing another one ourselves. Uh, and I'll tell you what, we could even get a hat-trick for the, uh, the what's the name Luigi's there! That will do! And we officially seal the deal. I think he's deserved the goal today, Luigi. Absolutely. But Levante, you know, it's a cup game. They've gone for it. Everyone get forward, the manager said. Don't worry about conceding. And that's exactly what he does. Ball up the line. We actually could have got the big man a, a hat-trick, but unfortunately he wasn't in the box. But Luigi was, and he's not going to miss from there. All right, well, we're just going to pump this forward. And that, ladies and gentlemen, should be job done. Oh, nicely done. Oh, lovely play. Oh, he was nearly in there. Cuts back inside. Flicks it on. Goes down. Ref, was that a, an elbow to the face? I guess not. And the referee blows for full time. And we do advance into the, uh, the next round, whatever that is. Was it the round of 16? Maybe the quarterfinals? I don't really know. We'll have a look after this. But yeah, luckily, it took us a bit of time, didn't it? And then we scored back-to-back -back goals. Uh, once Levante conceded that second goal, it was always going to be tough for them. There it is. Five attempts to 11. 
And man of the match today, Anuchu. What a what a what a signing he's been so far. <laughs> he's only played one game. But yeah, he did the job, did the business, and we advance. So the other results, uh, it's the third round. So uh, Leganes, wow. They knocked out Sevilla. That's an upset for you. Valencia have been knocked out too. Uh, Villarreal did win. Barcelona comfortably through. Espanyol beating Real Madrid. Core blimey. What has happened in this? What has happened in this round? Atletico Madrid lost as well. So Sevilla are out. Real Madrid are out. And Atletico Madrid are out. Wow. We've just we've just had a huge boost and a real big chance now of possibly getting very very far in the Copa del Rey because we're not taking on Real Madrid in the next round. We're taking on Espanyol and Atletico Madrid have been knocked out on the other side of the table. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. All right. Well, there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll return for a big match though because we are taking on Barcelona, uh, which really is a must-win game because we're so far behind them. Uh, there it is settling nicely. We've only played one match just to get too carried away. Uh, but we will return. We'll look at all the transfers that are going on. Uh, what do we have coming up? Yeah, two matches. Uh, so we've got a few games before we do get into the last day of the transfer window. Leave your recommendations for players still. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. Um, but yeah, today was... It was more enjoyable, but we took Levante on. We're on Superstar, you know, and I didn't feel the game was cheating me, but they scored a really nice goal, so that was good to see. But anyway, till next time, subscribe for more. Stay safe and take care.